hi everyone welcome back to my channel on this channel today guys i'll show you how to make a kiss dodo without going wrong at all if you want to say i made this perfection make sure you watch this video to the end for this video i'll be using three packs of turkey kizats i cut them into my desired size and shape like that next i went ahead to wash that in salty water and next i went ahead to add it into my pots to start cooking added some seasoning powder salt curry thyme and onion next i want to add hot water in order to help kick start the cooking process and i just give it a time stay and cover to cook i'll also be using three packs of plantain i split that into four and trying to cut them into cubes as possible make sure you use plantain of this nature okay make sure it's not softer than this and make sure it's not harder than this we added some salt and we just gave it a toss like that we added some oil into a pan and we're just frying our plantains just like so next when i had to check on our gizzards we can tell it is ready we just brought it out of the stock like that you can tell our plantain is ready we're just bringing it out into a strainer lined with paper towel in order to get rid of excess oil we went ahead to fry our gizzards also until everything is done you don't want it to crunch okay you just want it like this we just repeat the same process until everything is done we scoop out excess oil because we want to fry our sauce in the same pots to retain all its flavor we'll be using bell pepper scotch bonnets and onion I went ahead to blend that and we pour it into our oil and cover to cook. Now it's time to season. We add a salt, a little bit of seasoning powder, curry, white pepper, thyme and nutmeg. We added some ginger and garlic and give this a good mix. Then we'll be leaving this to fry. Now that it is fried, we'll give that a stir and go ahead to reintroduce our fried plantain and gizzard. And that's what makes it giz dodo, like gizzard with dodo. Dodo means plantain. Yeah. We give that a thorough mix. Okay, guys, now make sure your sauce is not too much so you don't eat a soggy giz dodo, okay? We added some gizzard stock like that you can skip that if you do not have it and give it a stay again we're going to be letting that to cook together for two minutes and we came back to check on it we give it a stir and i just like to garnish my gizodo with all colors of bell peppers onion if you don't have this you can just skip it it's just for more flavor it's optional okay you just steam that for one more minute and guys our gizodo is ready Following this method, you can never go wrong. Let me know if you're going to be trying this out. And thank you so much guys for watching. And I'll see you guys right in my next one. Bye.